Hey, what's up, everybody? This is Big Benedict. This is the imprisonment video. So, um, Kratos here is imprisoned, um, but it's not going to be very hard to escape our bonds, our bondage. So, um, this is a really cool part of the game. I like it. Uh, this part up ahead is actually very difficult, though, um, especially if you don't have any magic. Uh, what happened to me here is uh, what usually happens. I uh, I get my last phoenix feather here, and I get all my magic. Um, restored to me, but um, since I knew this was such a difficult part, I decided to um, not use magic whatsoever um, because I was just thinking about you know the person who comes to my guide without any magic whatsoever for this upcoming part, and uh, you know I <laughs> I probably shouldn't do that all the time, but I do um, just out of consideration for people who uh, don't have magic. But uh, the area over to the right is completely optional. And I really didn't even do this for any purpose except for getting orbs and killing people, which is what you need to do in this game. But um, uh, the main issue over here is that um, you have archers on top of the platform and then a bunch of these uh, hoplite guards um, to deal with. Um, and it's much easier to deal with them behind this corner than try to deal with them out in the open where the archers can hit you. Um, so, I would, see, they don't really cross the line, they stand like right there. Um, if you stand there, they'll charge you and you can just block and then grab them. Or um, just fling them up in the air and then uh, just go to town with the O button. So, there's nothing over here except a box of magic on top of the platform behind the archers. Nothing, absolutely nothing. So, that's all there is. And I already have all my, all my magic, so it, it really seems self-defeating to do this. But, um, you know... Uh, I don't. That's just. That's not how I play the game. Um, uh, I, I want to do every area of the game, regardless of if, if you, if because you're still getting orbs, you know. And uh, all these bodies that you are hitting um, that are tied up, those give you health. So um, they actually, it, the animation kind of has like orbs coming into you, but I think it's actually their blood that's coming into you. So I, I looked, and there's no orbs um, reaping from those bodies, but you get health back. Um, you might also notice that I have quite a bit of orbs. See, 9,500 orbs, almost up to 100,000 orbs, and I'm not exploiting anything. Um, it's, it's, it's what usually happens, again, uh, when I play. I just, I'm very cautious about what I upgrade. So, um, I only have the blades upgraded to level 4, and the the Efreet magic up to level 2. So, that's just where I'm at. I could be doing a lot of other upgrades if I wanted to. I'm just, I, have, I just haven't really decided... Um, you know, I haven't made a commitment yet or a decision about what I want to upgrade next, but um, when I when I do make my decision, you guys will be the first to know. So I took care of all of the guards, and now I'm going to get a little health and then um, jump up here to get these archers. See, they seem to fall asleep. I don't know what the hell's going on with those guys. But anyway, here's the area. I see they, there's, there's two pair of... Um, archers here, so just uh, they seem to just fall asleep. I, I think it's because of the Morpheus fog or something. I'm not sure, but uh, so th so that area is cleared, and you know, no, you might you may have noticed a little edit there. That's just because I went back and saved it. Um, so we have a new enemy up ahead. Um, these uh, the larger harpies, and uh, the thing to to note about those guys is that they cannot be grabbed unless you tap the square button first to hit them and then pull them to you by grabbing. So. Um, I'll show you. I'm actually demonstrate a fail on purpose a little bit into the into the battle. So we're in the depths of Tartarus. So these harpies just uh, dodge when they're trying to blast you, but then just hit tap the square button one time to hit them, and then you'll be able to pull them to you. Because if you just try to grab them, it'll never work. They'll never get grabbed. So that's it's kind of odd, but uh, that's that's the way these guys are programmed. So. Um, uh, these guys actually populate um, one of the trial areas, and that's how I learned how to defeat these guys. Or maybe it was earlier than that. It probably was, um, but uh, that's all the enemies in this area. I seem to recall a Morpheus beast in this area, but I was mistaken. So uh, that's all the enemies, and also bash all these chains. Um, they give you ten apiece, so it's uh, a nice uh, twenty combo right there. And then uh, just, just if you're low on health, just keep hitting the bodies. They don't repopulate or anything. But uh, you do get a little health back every time you kill them. And that move right there, it's called the Hyperion Might, if I'm not mistaken, where you just hold the square button down. Um, it's uh, 
it's the same move from God of War 1 called Might of the Hercules, where you just hold the square button down. I like that move, it's really good. So we're going to break another chain over there, and then there's one more chain to break, and then we're going to go into this door, and then there is just, uh, for the rest of this video, there's just a couple more guards, and what you're going to see here is an edit, because I restarted it on purpose, and then it was a little bit far into the battle, and I think I got a checkpoint. Um, sometimes, like when you kill, when, when there's a large group of enemies, like sometimes when you kill like the first, like th two or three, um, like they, like the, like when you restart, like those three enemies are gone forever. It's like it's really weird. But if you notice in the gra background, the fog, you see that uh, it's total glitch. Like if you see me move over to the left a little bit, sometimes it'll the the screen will reset to what it's supposed to look like. But it's not supposed to look like that, even though this is a foggy game on purpose. Um, but uh, it's total glitch. Um, the background, you see where the uh, like the the. the the, the blue part of the screen is where the save area is all that it's not supposed to look like that when I when I'm in this area the screen turns that way and then if I go over to the left then it changes back to what it's actually supposed to look like so it's uh, definitely a glitch and it's, I've, I've always noticed it let's see even over here it's still the glitch it's just a, like a, a shading issue or a color like a saturation error or something I don't know what it's technically called, but all I know is that it's a glitch, bottom line.